please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Hi there, good afternoon. You're watching Your Stocks. I'm Mangla Malu. With me is Sumera Abdi. Sumera, looks like a good afternoon in just yeah. the last 15, 20 minutes. The sharp rally that we've seen, uh, see, seen on the Nifty and it was aided by a lot of short covering because the three data points that really stand out as I uh, look at my screen, the first one is the Nifty Futures Premium. Remember, we started off with uh, about five points uh, premium and the Nifty Futures split should come up for you. There we have the premium now surging to 16 points. The second thing, the 10,000 put, it had the maximum open interest ahead of trade. And now as we speak, uh, the bulls believe this is the mark they can defend two days uh, uh, ahead of expiry. 15 lakh shares added on the 10,000 put. And the 10,000 call writers, the bears who believe 10,000 is a mark which is ours, they are running for cover a bit. 5 lakh shares shed out there and the premium quickly surged about 38 rupees out there. So that is aiding the up move that we're seeing right now. Those were our top stories. Our two experts are here with us. We have Gaurang Shah and Prakash Gaba who are joining in to answer all the queries that are being sent in and they're both here in our studio. So it's a full house for us, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks very much. Our first query comes to, uh, from Prerna Singh who writes to us from Jharkhand. She says she holds 550 shares of Bharti Infratel which she has bought at 210 rupees, which is uh, the IPO price. She's a long-term investor and wants to know whether to remain invested or to book out. Uh, so she's making quite a bit of money, actually. And uh, Prakash, let me come to you first on this. I mean, a 72,000 uh, uh, rupee profit. Uh, is it looking good for more? Or uh, like uh, uh, you constantly advise our viewers, take some money off? I would say hold. This is the time to hold because basic structure of Bharti and Fratel is still positive. It's bound from a recent support now. So I think the upside is still not. In case she wants to book out, maybe 400 to 420 to 440 would be the zone to look at it. So far until that, hold. Gorang, the fundamental view on Bharti and Fratel, a lot of tower sales happening. Uh, True. How would you read this? So this is the only company in the sector that we are positive on, Mangala okay. Man. My sense is that, yes, like Prakash mentioned, I mean, if you're not in a hurry, not in need of money, and you have time on your side, uh, better to stay put. There are much more higher levels to be seen. All right, much more higher levels to be seen on Bharti and Fratel. That's the fundamental view coming in. Hold the stock is the technical advice coming in from Prakash. But let's move on. We have BP Upreti writing to us from Uttarakhand. Holds 100 shares of Yes Bank at 140 rupees. And uh, he's been holding for the last two years and five months. A long-term investor wants to know whether to hold or sell. Prakash, we saw a sharp upsurge in Yes Bank right now, but from the time that he's holding, it's moved much more. Uh, what would you suggest on Yes Bank? I think it's still a hold to me because the price costing is so low and basically the structure is positive. Of course, there is some kind of short-term weakness there. Possible we could see even 280 zones, but I wouldn't worry about it because we are seeing some kind of a consolidation. The dips perhaps are not bad as yet. So hold. Goran, you've liked Yes Bank for quite a quite while now, right? Uh, uh, you maintain that positive view for somebody who's making a bit of money. Uh, is it a good decision to stay now, maybe buy some more? So, Sumira, first of all, yes, uh, you know, last 18 quarters have been quite stellar, barring the last two. That was the second and the third quarter where we, we saw some disappointment in terms of deterioration of asset quality. And, of course, there was some kind of an under-reporting also. Our sense is that uh, bad days are behind us for Yes Bank and uh, by and large of most of the private sector banks. And for the next maybe a year and a half, two, improvement in terms of uh, realizations, uh, working towards uh, recovery and uh, loan book growth. I think uh, all these parameters, uh, Yes Bank should deliver once again. So again, you know, despite the fact that you've stayed invested for a long time, again, if you have time by your side, if I'm not mistaken, our target stands at about 380 to 425, 430 long term, that is. All right, so it's a yes to yes bank from both our experts. Up next, Ram Mohan writes to us from Hyderabad, holds 70 shares in Bajaj Finance, has bought at 1,080 odd levels. Wow. Uh, for the last uh, nine months is uh, what he's remained invested. He's a long-term investor and wants to know what he should do at current levels. So, Gorang, let me come to you first on sure. this. Because it's very interesting, I mean, apart from everything else that's going in favor of Bajaj Fin, this morning we spoke with the management of Vijay Sales and they say that the preferred uh, uh, company for cu their customers is also Bajaj Fin. True. So, uh, you know, the bad summer looking very, very, very good, good for, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so how, what's your view then? So, again, you know, yes, I it was also, I did listen into that bit of it and uh, my sense is that the loan book growth towards the consumer durable is going to grow multifolds, point number one. Point number two, We've been maintaining a positive stance on Bajaj Finance from 750, 800 levels. From those levels, the stock has more than doubled. 
and uh, consistent delivery in terms of performance and incidentally this is one of the NBFCs, diversified NBFCs if you will, which has uh, delivered great set of numbers and the asset quality remains quite robust. So yes, I would say not in a hurry, stay invested. Not in a hurry, stay invested. Prakash, over the last six, seven months, the rally on Bajaj uh, Finance, which was a one-way stellar rally, has consolidated a bit. From 1800, it's come to about 1700, oscillating between those zones. Do you think uh, it's it's uh, good for more or consolidation? It doesn't bother me at all. Basically, this, I like the structure. It's constantly going up. We saw some reactions. Reactions are being absorbed. So far, as an uptrend is still intact. So why worry about it? I would say 1620, 1600 zones are very strong support zones. I think the next rally is starting now again. Looks like it's heading towards 2000 zones. May take its own sweet time for that. But yes, it's still up to me. It's a buy on dip stock. Going for the market and look at an HDFC bank that's uh, uh, you know seen a sharp up move and it's sitting at the high point of the day. Uh, let's get back to answering our queries. Om Prakash Gupta is on the line with us from Mumbai. He says he has an investment in Century Textiles. Hi, sir. What is your question? My question is that I have Century Textiles for a lot of time. So, I can keep it for 2-3 years. But I have to ask if there is a better share technically or fundamentally. I have to ask if there is a better share technically or fundamentally. Okay. I think, Gaurang, this is a question that's right up your alley. He's making sure. a bit of money in Century Textiles, but I think had he asked this question uh, sometime last year, it would have been a, a little bit a little more bit at more, least yeah. for now. But uh, nevertheless, he's okay to remain invested for two, three years. Is uh, His preferred option, though, is to move to another stock. Okay. तो गुप्ता जी पहले तो सेंचुरी टेक्सटाइल पर विशेष रूप में मैं राय नहीं दूंगा क्योंकि कवरेज नहीं है लेकिन आपका दूसरा सवाल था कि आप कोई दूसरे शेयर में भी निवेश कर सकते हैं यहाँ से निकल करके तो दो विकल्प है हमारे पास टेक्सटाइल से जुड़ी हुई जो क्षेत्र है वहाँ पर दो कंपनियाँ हैं एक तो है रेमंड्स और दूसरी है लिमिटेड तो आपको यहाँ कर अगर मुनाफा बांध लेना है और परिवर्तन करना है तो आपके निवेश में तो रेमंड्स या अरविंद दोनों में से कोई भी एक चुन सकते हैं लंबी अवधि के नज़रिए से all right, for the long term, you can choose uh, Raymond or Arvind. That's the fundamental view coming in. Prakash, uh, from the cement space or uh, perhaps the paper space or the textile space, <laughs> it's a wide array that he's opened up for you. I'm lost. Okay, I don't understand fundamentals. Okay. <laughs> Chart-wise, which is the one which is looking good? <laughs> I'd rather give it to Gaurang. Go with Gaurang. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Gordon's answer we have already, which is that move to a Arvind or a Raymond. Up next, a query coming in from the sugar space. Sanjay Mahajan is on the line with us. He has investments in Dwarake Sugar. Um, hi, Sanjay. How can we help you? Ma'am, I am holding Dwarake Sugar around 17,000 share at average of 55. One second, 17,000 or 7,000? 17,000, ma'am. 17,000, okay. At the rate of 55. Oh. 50, 56, 5, 56, 50 average, you know, because I've been buying and trying to average out and it has been falling from last three months, you know. Mm -hmm. So naturally you're looking for the level at which you can bite the bullet, so to say. Uh, Prakash, a very heavy heart. <laughs> what would you tell him? I think I already know the answer, but I'm going to leave it to you to break I, it. I think I'll give him a little bit of advice. When you make money, at least see to it that you don't lose 75% of the earnings that you've made. If your cost was at any point out from X and it goes to Y, the difference you'll be up the profit, tha, at least 75% you must retain it. Anytime it goes below that, you should be out if you're a portfolio. You have started adding it. That's the wrong thing to do. If I had the stock, I would be out. All right. If uh, Prakash had the stock, he would be out. Uh, Gorang Sugar Space, he's losing uh, quite a bit of money. So I don't think it's sweet anymore, the space, <laughs> <laughs> to be very frank. And the problem, uh, Mangalam, is that this sector is totally, totally dependent upon mm -hmm. the government policies. And we've seen, you know, stocks rally almost about 100, 200, 300, 400 percent in the sugar sector. And they've come down equally at the same speed. Mm -hmm. uh, this gentleman is losing close to about 50 percent from his investment. Uh, again, no specific coverage in, on uh, Dwarikesh, but in case if you want to move to another sugar, which I would not advise, we cover Balrampur Chini. But again, there also I think there's going to be a similar fate. So maybe if you want to opt out and look for a private sector banking stock which is corrected. Uh, so either you have two choices. One is you look at Balrampur Chiri and make a switch or else get out of the sector. And in private sector banks, I think federal bank is corrected from close to about 120, 125 to current levels of maybe about 80, 85 or thereabouts. I think this, is a, this would be a smart uh, and an intelligent switch 
and possibly you could recover some of the losses that you made. Still holding at the higher end of today's trading range, the Nifty. Remember, today is the last trading day for this financial year. If you want to buy delivery-based positions, T plus two. So maybe some of these funds are looking at buying a lot of these fund favorite names. Mera spoke about HDFC Bank, Maruti is to moving at uh, uh, moving towards the high point of today's trading session with a gain of about 2%. So we'll keep an eye out on all these stocks, but let's move on. We have Rancila KSB writing to us from Assam. She holds 24,000 shares of GMR Infra at 14.25 rupees a piece. For the last one year, a long-term investor wants to know whether to hold or sell. Well, Prakash, 24,000 shares, 14 and a half rupees, is sitting on 60,000 rupees worth profit. Would you advise to get out? GMR Infra? GMR Infra, yes, certainly advise you. You're making money out because I don't like the move that is seen from around 12 rupees to 24 zoom. It's actually nearly double from the lows. Looks like there's time for correction. I'll take my money off the table and enjoy my money. <laughs> All right, that looks like some sane advice. Up next, we have Ashok Kumar Sahu writing to us from Odisha. He holds uh, 740 shares of Morprin Labs at about 23 odd rupees. Uh, he's been holding on for a year. He's a long term investor and wants to know whether he should hold or sell. Uh, Gaurav, what's your take? Uh, more pen labs or is there something better? Well, I think there's a lot better, better names, to be very honest, uh, Sumira. And this is one stock which is, I think, believe lower single digit once upon a time and then it went up, uh, rallied and a lot of retail investors got stuck in the stock at higher levels. Highly overowned, no mm. specific coverage though. So maybe, you know, come out of this particular stock, more pen laboratories and get into granules in India. Uh, that's where we have a coverage, a similar there about kind of uh, range, if you will. All right, uh, Prakash, your view? Technically, it's reached a point where 3840 tells me that I'm not going up. I'm coming down. He's making around 7 rupees. Why not take the money off the table? Time to book profit. The market, it's turning out to be a good, good afternoon. And a lot of investors want to know what to do with their investments. So let's answer some more queries. Sangram Keshari is um, now on the line with us from Bangalore. He says he has uh, shares, uh, 65 shares of BLS International, which he's bought at 245 rupees. Um, go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, we don't have him online. I think he sent us this query. He's uh, bought it for about four months ago. He's a long-term investor and wants to know what he should do with these levels. Uh, Prakash, what's your take? BLS Industries, uh, BLS International? I think it's a weak stock, weak structure. I don't see strength. Why would I be in the stock? I'll be out. Okay, so basically, Sangram... All you need to do is uh, cut your losses at this time and get out. <laughs> All right, cut, cut your losses and get out, but just keep an eye out on the markets. You know, I'm taking a look at a couple of these mid caps. Uh, I mean, not cer certainly a mid cap, but Titan. It starts to trade in the Nifty from uh, the 2nd of April, which is next financial year. And today, like I said, was the last day of delivery based buying in FY18. So Titan should come up for you. That one's moved about 6%. It's surging towards the high point of the day. We have Mrunal A writing to us from Surat. She holds, uh, uh, actually she has about 50,000 rupees, wants to invest for the long term. Koranga, 50,000 rupees, anyone wants to get into the markets right now, what would you your advice be? So, uh, well again, you know, Mangalam, if your time horizon is maybe a year and a half, two plus, and on fallback of the recent budget announced by mm -hmm. the finance minister, I would say life insurance uh, companies are the place to be with. And I, my sense is that, uh, you know, there is a renewed and a changed approach the way people look at uh, life insurance now and of course with the government policies in place my sense is that company like an ICICI Prudential Life would be a good long-term investment idea. Mm. But uh, you know Gaurang, I'll give you some more details. Sure. She's only 25 years uh, okay. old so in all probability is a first time <coughs> investor. Um, why not mutual funds? I mean with a profile like this. Well if I was in her place I would definitely go and opt for mutual yeah. fund to be very honest uh, other than of course the compliance issues mm. that I have. But uh, you know Direct investment into equity, Sumera, involves a lot of back-end work. Mm. You need to keep track of your investment, earnings, etc., exactly. yeah. etc. Et and mm. if you are a student, I don't think you have much time on your hand. Mm. Mm. So maybe opt for a large cap, uh, you know, good AMC mutual fund. Mm. And uh, top it up, you know, every month you go and yeah. do an SIP. I think that would be a best way to invest. Yeah, that's what I would uh, imagine. Yeah. But uh, gentlemen, thanks very Thank much, uh, Gaurang Prash uh, Prakash, for joining in for answering all the many queries. Uh, that have uh, been uh, coming in. But as we wrap up on your stocks, we leave you with some market opinion. We spoke this morning with Sridhar Sivaram of Inam Holdings, and he says that while macros remain a concern, micros are improving. Thanks for watching. In general, our belief is 18 is a tough year. 
uh, and not to expect too much of returns. In fact, we are currently underperforming the emerging markets by almost 10%. Uh, and as long as uh, you know we hold some range in the market somewhere in this range, say plus minus five or ten percent, that should be a good outcome. Keep in mind that we we still have many uncertain events ahead. We have a eBay bill which is starting from first April, which a lot of people tell me is is slightly disruptive. Uh, and then we have some elections which are coming. So if I put all those things together. This looks like a tough year, and protecting capital will be my paramount, uh, you know, objective right now. So India's macro has significantly deteriorated. Uh, so if we go back, say, three years to where we are now, uh, we are seeing inflation inching up, even though it is still within the RBI band. Uh, we are seeing our current account deficit moving up, uh, and also we are seeing interest rates from RBI signaling it's is moving up. India some of the best bull markets have come when our macro hasn't been great so India is really a micro story and if i look at the micros i'm seeing some of the micros really improving so you look at cvs or uh, you look at tractors or you look at uh, two wheelers generally the numbers that we are seeing they are seeing we are seeing much more positive numbers as far as micro is concerned whereas macro is deteriorating